This tutorial explains the two methods of updating the CHIMP software via USB and via an internet connection. Thank you for your interest in the Infinity Chimp Light controller and welcome to this tutorial. To learn more about the various parts of the Infinity Chimp Light controller, keyboard and screen, you are advised to watch tutorial 1 and 2, hardware and software. This tutorial is based on software version 1.3. If your chimp uses a different software version, the functions or user interface may be different. Please note that we refer to the chimp hardware keys as keys and the GUI software keys as buttons in this tutorial. Please note that it is recommended to export your shows before performing an update. We'll talk about exporting shows in another tutorial. To update the software, we need to go to Setup. We then select Maintenance. In this menu, we can see the current software version with the corresponding release date. We can also open the release notes. These instructions are based on software version 1.3. It is also possible to downgrade your operating system. As you can see, we have downgraded this operating system to version 1.2. All the shows that were created in a newer operating system will not be lost but cannot be used. We will demonstrate this in the Manage Shows overview. Manage Shows can be found in the main Backup menu. It gives you an overview of all the shows created together with the software version in which they were made. The console is now running on software version 1.2, which means that it is not possible to use the shows created in 1.3. This is indicated by the red shading. We will now update the chimp so that these shows can be used again. Press Setup followed by Maintenance. There are two ways to update the CHIMP operating system, either via an update file from a USB flash drive or online via the CHIMP server. Software Update via USB We will now select the USB update. Any USB port on the CHIMP can be used to perform an update via a USB flash drive. In our case, we will use the USB connection at the front. Please note, the CHIMP requires a specific folder structure on the USB storage. We can create this ourselves or have the CHIMP do it. The CHIMP will only do this if the USB storage is first connected to the CHIMP and we export a show file to the USB storage. If you create this yourself, you must make sure not to use capital letters. The structure is as follows. The main folder, Infinity, must be in the root of the USB storage. The subfolders have the following functions. Import, export, reserved for future functions. Library, used for exchanging libraries between chimps. Shows are stored in this folder. Please note that when importing shows, the chimp will only look in this folder. Software Update Place your downloaded software files here if updating via USB storage. Firmware files are available on the official Infinity Chimp forum and on the Chimp product pages. The file will only be shown in the Select Software Update overview if it is in the correct folder. To update the software, we select the required software and press Select. In our case, we'll press Cancel because we will be following the online procedure. 
online software update via the Chimp server. Let's press online update. The Chimp indicates that there is no connection to the internet. We therefore need to establish this connection first. We need to press cancel and then go to network settings. In order to connect to the Chimp server, the Chimp must be connected to the internet and DHCP must be enabled. Let's press apply changes to activate DHCP. You will immediately see the updated information shown in the current Ethernet status bar and also see that there is a 1 GBPS connection. We can then press the Test Internet Connection button to check that we are connected to the Internet. The test was successful. Now we'll go back to the online update via the maintenance screen. All the available software files are now visible in the Select Software Update screen. In this overview, it is also possible to test the Internet connection and search for updates once again using Refresh List. Select the required file and press Download. We can see the progress from the server to the chimp. Once the status reaches 100%, click Continue. Then click on Prepare Update. This overview shows you the progress with regard to unpacking and checking the files. Please note, make sure that the power cannot be switched off before the update is completed. Now click on Perform Update. The chimp must be rebooted in order to activate the new software. To do so, click on Reboot. Once the chimp has been rebooted, we will check the update. Click on Setup. and then Maintenance. This screen shows the current version, which is 1.03. If we now go to Backup and then Manage Shows, we see that none of the shows are shaded red and that all the shows can be opened. If the chimp does not start up as normal and shows the following screen, Select Reboot Console. The chimp will once again ask you to confirm. Click Reboot Console again twice. The chimp will then start up as normal. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Infinity strives to keep its chimp related tutorials and software information up to date. Keep an eye on our social media channels for the latest information on the chimp.